this is a quick video for one of my subscribers asking how to program a robot to follow uh, a curve in a way that the tool is oriented to the curvature of the curve. So at the moment, what they have is something like this, where the coordinates for the TCP are correct, but the orientation is always constant. As you can see, it's always following the world's XY coordinates. This is the world's XY plane. And you can see here the tool point at every point in the curve is exactly aligned to that x, y. So the reason for this is because we're dividing a curve. You could use um, you could use the divide curve um, by counting how many points, or you can do it by distance between points. Um, you're getting the points, and then for each one of these points here, you're creating, um, so for each one of these points, you're creating an x, y plane. So that's just taking the world's x, y coordinate um, well, the world's xy plane and placing that with the origin for each one of these points. So, of course, the tool um, is going to be oriented according to that. So, that's the main issue here. And what we actually want is to, is to use planes that instead of, well, I'll just show it quickly here, instead of these planes all being aligned to the world's coordinates here, wherever they are, you can see they've always got that same alignment. We actually want them to rotate based on the curve. So you can see here they're rotating. Uh, you can see um, they actually follow the curve's curvature. So uh, what this looks like uh, is this. You can see the tool is now orienting according to those curves. So. How to do this in a simple way. So I'll just delete this XY plane because we don't need it. So what I've done here is um, I've used the tangency. So for whoever doesn't know, um, the tangency is basically the direction of a curve at a particular point. So um, I can display these vectors and take the tangency. So um, I'll just multiply each vector. The tangency is basically a unit vector, which basically means a direction in three-dimensional space with a length of one. So I'm just going to multiply that by, let's say, 300. And so now we've multiplied those by 300. And so we've got the vector in that's been scaled by 300. And let's display them for each one of these points. So you can see here, at this point, this is the direction the curve is going in. At this point, this is the direction the curve is going in. So what we're doing is we're taking these tangents. Okay, I'll move this out of the way. And we're constructing a plane. So making a plane for each point. And I'll just actually I'll just do this from scratch. So, so you can follow with me. So for each point, we want to construct a plane. We're going to give the tangent as the y-axis. And then we're going to rotate, rotate that tangent, which is a vector again. We're going to rotate it across the, uh, if I show you in perspective mode, we want to rotate it around an axis. So that axis will be the z-axis. So let's give it the z-axis. Okay. And we will rotate it by this amount. Obviously, the angle takes in radians, as you can see here, in radians. So we're going to use this number slider, convert it to radians, give it that angle. And then that, uh, I'll just display the different ones. So, so we've got two vectors here. So let's get, make one for each point. We've got the tangency vector, okay, which are these ones. And now we want one this direction, so rotated minus 90 degrees this case because Rhino rotates it in that sense. Um, so it rotates anti-clockwise, which is a bit counterintuitive, but uh, that's how they've done it. So um, instead, let's show the rotated ones. So you can see now we've made these, uh, let's scale these down a bit. Let's do, so you can see these would be the initial tangents and now we've rotated them like that. So, um, yeah, 
we're giving those in the regular tangent as y and now we're going to give this rotated tangent as x so there we go and now we can put that in as our target planes and let's display this and we can see here how it follows the curve okay so we can also have the freedom as we we've created this rotate we can say we want to rotate it we want it to start maybe in this position or in this position obviously always look because if you exaggerate with this um, uh, this will probably break so let's see here yeah that you can see it does not like that so um, as long as it's within reachable positions not creating any errors in the robot path that should be fine so that's one way there's an easy even easier way in my opinion to do this so you can get the horizontal frames in this case uh, horizontal frame and you want it um you don't want this horizontal frames you want this one horizontal frame uh so it's evaluated at a specific parameter so you can see there uh at a specified parameter so you're getting this you're giving it the curve and then as you can see the points written also the tangents as we've seen and also the parameters so if you just put in the parameter it will give you a horizontal plane um, by default so if we just plug that in as it is you can see here uh, it's already doing it but it we probably don't want it to start at this orientation we'd want it to be rotated this way so again what we can just simply rotate rotate each plane along not the xy plane because that's what it's giving the default as the world xy plane so the origins will be here we'd want it according to we want to rotate each plane around itself so let's give it each plane uh, around itself and then let's give it an angle in radians and here again we can give it um we can give it its own uh angle so let's say minus 96 that looks fine let's give it that and again we can see here if we change this we're changing the initial angle which we're working with let's just say minus 90 and now again we can see robot as it's the last one i'll show i'll just put in more points uh so it'll be nice and smooth and zoom in a bit maybe okay and here you can see okay you can see here now it's following that curve really nicely so that's my basic explanation on um, how to make a tool orient along a curve. Uh, if you have any further questions, just drop in a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers.